So this is what's going to make your drink smooth and creamy and milky. It's sweetened condensed milk. Now, you'd think we'd be using fresh pineapple, but you'd be wrong because fresh pineapple makes milk sour and it goes bitter after a while. So we want to use canned pineapple. I'm using slices here. I'm also using some mango chunks, but any summery fruit that you want to use will work well for this drink. We start off by draining the pineapple. Drain it well, but set aside syrup because you want to use that later for sweetening your drink and diluting it. Chop up your pineapple into small pieces. What you want is the texture of crushed pineapple. So you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you use crushed pineapple? My supermarket doesn't sell it, so I had to buy the slices and I'm chopping it up myself. What you don't want to do is put this in a food processor or a blender because we want some body to the drink. And for that, we need pineapple in small pieces like this. Take whatever other fruit you're going to use. I've got mango, you can use peach, pear, a whole can of fruit salad, whatever you like. You're going to drain that and also chop that up until it's the same texture and consistency as the pineapple. Remember, we don't want a puree. We're not making a smoothie. We just want it so that it's edible and drinkable like this. Once you've got your fruit in a pitcher or a bowl, you add the rest of your ingredients, sweetened condensed milk, the syrup, and some water. And that's it. Leave some space at the top of your container because you're going to be stirring the drink and mixing it a lot, and you're going to be sweetening it, diluting it, basically just catering it to your own taste, and you need space for that. So leave that space up there. Trust me, you'll need it. Mix everything up really well, bring the fruit to the top, the milk to the bottom, and then give it a taste. If it's not sweet enough, then you can add more of that fruit syrup. Whatever you do, keep mixing it really well, keep tasting it. If it's still not sweet enough, you can add more syrup or just plain simple sugar. I prefer the syrup because, well, it adds the fruitiness and the sweetness, but sugar's fine if you don't need any more fruitiness in your drink. Then once you've got that to a sweetness that you like, just cover it and then chill it for a couple of hours. You want to serve this drink really cold. Serve it over ice and put a spoon in that cup, not a straw. Why? Because this is the kind of drink that we eat and drink at the same time. We drink the liquid from the top and then we pick out the pieces of milk soaked fruit from the bottom. It's really refreshing and it's a beautiful drink, perfect for a hot summer's day.